Hi, this is Lalit Vasis and we are watching Engineering Made Easy. Friends, today's topic is uh, logarithms. Here we will see different uh, formulas related to logarithms and we'll also solve some problems based on logarithms. So, first of all, uh, we will see all these formulas and uh, by solving the problems based on logarithms, you will have better understanding of these formulas as we will use these formulas in the problem solving. So, watch this video till the end. So, first of all, we will start with the, this uh, basic definition of logarithm. It states that log of x to the base b is equals to y, then x will be equals to b to the power y. Okay, we will use this also uh, in uh, while we will solve the problems. Now, let's see other formulas of logs. So, log of a into b is equals to log of a plus log of b. So, here you can see that we have changed this multiplication, this product into an addition operation. So, if we wanted to find the logarithm of a into b, then we can simply first find the log of a and log of b and then we can add them together. In the same way, log of a by b is equals to log of a minus log of b log of a to the power b is equals to b log a it means this b comes before log okay you can see this b comes here so b log a we will use these things uh, then you will have a better concept that uh, how we use them in in solving problems so log of a to the base a is equals to 1 means uh, if we have if we want to find the log of some number that have the same base okay the same base then its value will be equal to 1 log of 1 is always equals to 0 log of a to the base b can be written as log of a divided by log of b now you can also reverse this process that log of a divided by log of b can be written as log of a to the base b actually if uh, there is uh, nothing uh, written in the base then we assume that uh, that the base is 10 base is 10 if log of a log of a means log of a to the base 10 log of b means log of b to the base 10 now let's come to seventh formula log of a to the base b is equals to log of a to the base c into log of c to the base b you can also write it as log of a to the base b is equals to log of a to the base c divided by log of b to the base c it means that uh, if you want to take the log of uh, any number with some certain base log of a to the base b here and i want to change this base here the base is b and i want to change the base to c so i can write it as log of a to the base c divided by log of b to the base c means put this a and base as c and take the log of b and base as c you can also see here in this case that here it was log of a to the base b log of a to the base b so I change it to and I want to change it to some base let's say base 10 as I told you that uh, if uh, there is nothing written in the base then its base is assumed to be 10 so it is similar to this concept that log of a to the base b is same as log of a to the base 10 divided by log of b to the base 10 so log of a to the base b can be written as log of a to the base c divided by log of b to the base c so here the base is c and here the base was 10 if nothing written base 10 okay now come to the eighth formula log of a to the base b into log of b to the base a is equals to 1 this is a simple property because log of b to the base a is nothing but simply the 1 divided by log of a to the base b if i take it to denominator from numerator, numerator to denominator then these two will be a and b will be interchanged their position will interchange so log of a to the base b is nothing simply the 1 divided by log of b to the base a so their product is simply 1 log of a to the base b is equals to 1 divided by log of b to the base a as i uh, just told you that uh, if i 
take it to numer uh, denominator then it will interchange a will come at the position of b and b will uh, come at the position of a so we have used this property in this okay if i uh, transform it then log of a to the base b it will come from the division to multiplication log of a to the base log of a to the base b multiplied by log of uh, b to the base a will be equal to 1 so it is very simple you can uh, get this uh, property from this that log of a to the base b is equal to 1 divided by log of b to the base a so these are same property okay so here we will see various problems and uh, will help you in understanding these concepts that we have uh, just discussed so our first problem is if log of x square plus 8 to the base 1 by 3 is equals to minus 2 then what will be the what will be the value of x so here we want to find the value of x and we will use these properties that we have discussed so from the basic property of log that I told you this property that log of x to the base b is equal to y then x will be equal to b to the power y so it means this x at the place of this x at the place of this x i have x square plus 8 so x is equals to b to the power y it means this x this x is x square plus 8 so x square plus 8 will be equal to one by three to the power minus two this base will be at this place so one uh, x square plus eight will be equal to one by three to the power minus two you can see it from this formula so let's write it down x square plus eight will be equal to 1 by 3 to the power minus 2 this base here it is in base so here also it will be in the so x square plus 8 equals to 1 by 3 to the power minus 2 now i can simply find the value of x from this equation <coughs> So x square plus 8 will be equals to 1 by 3 to the power minus 2 means 3 to, uh, 3 to the power 2, 3 square because it, it can be written as 3 to the power this in bracket can be written as 3 to the power minus 1. You can write it as 3 to the power minus 1 and power its whole power minus 2. So we know that powers gets uh, multiplied so minus 1 into minus 2 is 2 so 3 to the power 2 so we i get x square plus 8 equals to 3 square so x square plus 8 is equals to 3 square means 9 so x square is equals to 9 minus 8 means 1 so i get x equals to plus minus 1 it's a very simple problem and i got the value of uh, x now we will see another problem If log of 10 to the power x is equal to 98 minus x log of 10 to the power 7 then find the value of x. It is again a simple uh, problem. We can solve it easily by using these formulas. Here I will use the property. Let me show you what property I am going to use here. 
I will use this property, property number 3. Log of a to the power b is equals to b log of a means this. I told you that this b comes before this log. So I can write this as this. So how can we use it? This, this can be written as log of 10 to the power x. Let put this x before uh, log. So it can be written as x log of 10. x log of 10 equals to 98 minus this again 10 to the power 7. So I can put this 7 before this log is equals to 7x. Okay, 7x log 10. So x log 10 this take this to the left side it will convert from minus to plus plus 7x log 10. equals to 98 so, uh, x log 10 plus 7x log 10 becomes if you take uh, log 10 as common then 7x plus x will be 10, uh, 8x so 8x log 10 is equals to 98 since we know that uh, value of log 10 is nothing equals to 1 because log of 10 if nothing is written in the base then I told you that it is nothing but base 10 so log of 10 to the base 10 is equals to 1 because log of a to the base a if uh, these two are same log of uh, a to the base a is 1 so log of 10 to the base 10 it will be equal to 1 so log of 10 is 1 so I have 8x equals to 98 8x is equals to 98 this implies that x is equals to 98 divided by 8 which comes out to be equal to 12.25 okay so this is the value of x uh, let's discuss now another problem the problem is log of x squared plus x to the base 4 minus log of x plus 1 to the base 4 is equal to 2 and I, will, uh, I want to find the value of x from this equation. So here uh, we will use the properties that we have seen. So what are these properties? Remember that uh, I told you this property. I explained you this property that log of uh, a by b is equal to log of a minus log of b. It is <coughs> also uh, possible to write in it in another way that log of a minus log of b can be written as log of a by b so we will use first this property for finding the value of x here you see log of something to the base 4 minus log of something to the base 4 base is same so it can be written as log of base will be same log of x square plus x x square plus x divided by x plus 1 basis 4 will be equals to 2 got this 
log of x square plus x and x plus 1 this was the uh, subtraction uh, operation it can be converted but if I change this then it can be converted to this division problem so x square plus x divided by x plus 1 can be written as I got this from the property log of a by b is equals to log of a minus log of b I use this property so log of x square plus x by log of by x plus 1 is equals to 2 now what property will be used I told you this property that log of x to the base b is equals to y then x will be equals to b to the power y this was the property here is the property that log of x to the base b is y then x will be equals to b to the power y so we will use this property here so in this case this x at the place of x i have x square plus x divided by x plus 1 so this x square plus x divided by x plus 1 will be equals to 4 to the power 2 okay from this property which is equals to 16 now it is a simple problem and we can find it find the value of x x square plus x is equals to 16 into x plus 1 <coughs> x square plus x equals to 16 x plus 16 x square take this to the left side minus 15x minus 16 equals to 0 we can factorize it x minus 16 and, and x plus 1 equals to 0 and from this I get two values of x, x equals to 16 and x equals to minus 1. But if you will put this value of minus 1 in this equation, then it will not satisfy this equation. So the value of x is equal to 16. So its uh, answer is x equals to 16. So this is the right answer. So here we have discussed some problems on logarithms. So I hope uh, that you got these concepts and uh, we revised these formulas while solving these problems. So in the next videos we will see more such problems and uh, more uh, questions related to basic mathematics. So keep watching Engineering Made Easy, like and share the video please and don't forget to subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.